वेलकम बैक माई YouTube family. So this is the episode number थ्री of our this playlist and in this episode we are going to develop a dashboard where we can show the historical trend of the sales. So first of all I'm going to add one new sheet here. This is my helping sheet and I'm going to visit Power Pivot Manage and here I will create one pivot table and I want it on existing sheet. So I want it here. So first of all I'm going to show my category wise sales and my sales are here stock out stock out is my sales so this is my sales by category change the name of the pivot table so this is my category sales I'm going to insert and I'm going to use this bar chart right click on it hide all field buttons so these are my sales by category right click on it sort from smallest to largest selecting this one delete again i'm copying this one and pasting it here and now i want my day by sale visiting this calendar and from calendar i have day so i didn't have a column for day so i'm going to this power pivot manage and i'm visiting this calendar and here i will be adding day so i will be using this day function and in this function it required only date this date press ok so it will give me the number of day so now I can find this day to this row and now these are my sales by day so I am going to insert this one so right click on it hide all field buttons so sales by days I'm going to change the name of this pivot table as well. So this is sales by day. Again, I'm copying this pivot table. Here I will be replacing this day with subcategory. So these are my subcategories. I'm going to visit this insert and I will be pasting this chart. It is a bar chart. Right click on it, hide all field buttons, delete this one. Sales by, right click on it smallest to largest pressing this one delete same with this one pressing this one and delete so these are my sales by sub category again i'm copying this pivot table and i'm pasting this pivot table here right click on it show field list so now i'm replacing this sub categories with state so these are my sales by state i'm going to insert and I will be selecting this donut chart here. So these are my sales by state. Right click on it, hide all field buttons. And these are my sales by. Again, I'm copying this one, copying this pivot table, and I will replacing this state with city. So these are my sales by cities. I will be visiting insert, and from here, I will be selecting this bar chart. Right click on it. Hide all field buttons, right click on it, sort from smallest to largest, delete this one, delete this one. This is my sales by and I'm going to change the name of the pivot here, sales by city. So now I'm adding one sheet here. This is my sales dashboard. Now I will be cutting all of my these charts and will be pasting on that sheet. Cut, paste it here and also pasting all of charts here. I'm copying this pivot table again and I need one more chart and I need this chart for the days. So I will be replacing this city with name of the day and here also I will be inserting this bar chart, right click on it, hide all field buttons, delete this one and these are my sales by days and I'm also changing the name of the pivot table. And I'm cutting this one and pasting it here. So now I will be adjusting all of my charts as per the space I have on my this dashboard. So before this, I will making some changes. You need to see, first of all, you need to visit this one and auto hide ribbon. Then you need to visit this view, remove this grid line, formula bar and heading and set this resolution to 90. Now I will be aligning these all of charts as per the space I have here. You just need to see.
Now I will just adding the slicers here and I will be aligning all of slicers on that space that I'm having here. So I'm going to this insert and I will be visiting this slicer year month category subcategory okay so I'm just adjusting all of my slicers here now i'm just visiting this page layout from here i will be selecting this blue green one now i will be selecting all the titles here and i will be formatting them so for example i'm selecting this one and i will be making it arial making it bold background color to this one and white i will repeat this formatting on all of my titles now i will be enabling the data labels all of the charts so i'm selecting this clicking on this plus button this is my data label same with this data label same with this data label data labels same with this data labels same with this now i'm going to format the data labels i'm just selecting the data labels and visiting this section from here i will be selecting background to black and text color to white making them bold same with all so now i'm double clicking on this this dialog box will pop up here i will be selecting this data label and visiting this one going to label options and here i will on the category name and the percentage it is showing cs8 having 810 cartons this is the 32 percent of the grand sales now i will be selecting all of my these slices and i will be connecting these slices with rest of all the charts if i will be clicking this one it is not slicing the charts even this one this one this is slicing only this chart because this is connected with this chart but it is not connected with the rest charts so you need to connect it with all the charts so for this you need to select your slices and you need to visit this slicer from here this is the report connection so here you have to connect it with all the reports category sales similarly I will be selecting rest of all the slices and will be connecting to all the reports. Now if I will be selecting any of component from slicer it will slice all the charts for example if I want to see this all dashboard with reference to this accessories and if I will be selecting this one it is slicing all the charts with reference to this accessory. So in accessories, I have the electronics and these electronics were sold on 9th and 15th of the month. Similarly, I can slice the data with reference to this accessories, clothing, electronics and even you can slice this data with reference to the month. If you want to see the sales for October, these sales are for October month and if you want to see the November sales, now it is showing the sales for November. So this dashboard is ready. Here you can track the historical trend, the historical sales. More you can add a trend line in this chart. Basically this trend line is showing the sales, the average sales is between 80 to 100 carton. Means if the sales are less than 80 cartons per day, that means these sales are less. And if the sales are more than 80 carton, that means these sales are satisfactory sales. So the task of that episode was to prepare a dashboard for sales tracking that we already completed. In the upcoming episode of this playlist, we will be creating the dashboard for the stock in. So this is all with reference to this episode. At the end, I just want to say thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.